tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Okay, thanks for joining us. In this video, we are going to show you how to add PDF documents and other documents uh, and forms in particular to the WordPress website. Now, one of the often things, uh, one of the things that is often confused when you're talking about forms uh, inside WordPress happens when you have a forms plugin, uh, like Gravity Forms or Contact Forms, things like that, because what happens is those plugins create a forms menu item. And often that is confused with adding paper forms, like a uh, PDF that you might uh, give to somebody to download or print out and then turn back into you or your organization, either via email, scanning or printing or faxing, something like that. So uh, when in reality, the forms that you would see in this type of area uh, are forms that are online forms, like contact forms. Now, you can, however, have a paper form turned into a digital form and that's where you would do this. You would actually recreate each field step by step in this particular form uh, Plugin. Now, this one happens to be Gravity Forms, and it's probably, in my opinion, the best form plugin for WordPress. But if you wanted to get paper forms, PDF documents and other documents like Word documents and things like that into WordPress, that is done through the media library and then attached in a specific post or a page uh, in a couple different ways. And we'll go through that uh, right now as we show you how to add PDF documents and forms to your WordPress website. So first thing we're going to do is head over to the media library. We're going to hover the mouse here over media. You'll be shown two choices, library and add new. So we're just going to click on library just to show you what that interface looks like. So you'll see here, the media library comes up and shows you all of the images and other pieces of media that you have here in your WordPress library. And this can include things like images, photos, videos, documents, PDFs, form, all this kind of stuff. And you'll see here, an image will show you a thumbnail of the image and a document will show you this kind of uh, text kind of thumbnail with a little graphic next to it. That just means a general document uh, piece of media. So. What we want to do to add a new form is to click add new. Now the media library is going to give us a choice to add media in one of two different ways. You can drag and drop. So if you have a folder on your desktop, like we do, for example, I'll just open up my desktop. We have some sample forms right here. We could take one form and just drag it right onto the WordPress editor. And you'll see that that uploads directly. Or you could click this select file button and also go to the desktop. We have some sample forms and we could add a form this way. And they're both going to upload and you can continue doing this until you've uploaded all the forms you want. You could also select and highlight several forms at one time. You don't have to just upload one at a time. And then you can get more information about these two by clicking edit. And that will take you to the page for the form that was just uploaded and here it's giving us a name this is a this happens to be a church bulletin from uh, the week of 7 7 2013 and that tells you exactly what it is that's the attachment id you could add a description here if you wanted to and on the right side you have the file url so if you were to highlight this and copy it and just paste it into a new browser window that would actually pull up that file that's actually the direct link to this file. So this happens to be a PDF file or PDF form. So you can see this in most browsers. Now this will be completely dependent on the person's browser who's viewing this. Some people have their browser set up to automatically download direct file links. Some people's browsers have it set up to view it just like we're viewing it here. Uh, depending on how they have it set up is the type of interaction they will have when they go to that direct file. 
Now, anyone who views a PDF or any other document in their browser can simply right click and also click save as and save that directly to their computer. Now, the question is, how do we add this to a page or a post? Well, if you have that direct link, you could simply copy that and then we'll go to a page, for example. We'll just create a new page. I'm just going to do a new test page here. And we'll call it test page. And all we need to do is simply include that link. So for example, this is a form. And we would highlight the link button, put the link in, and then we'll click open link in new tab just to keep that as a clean window. We'll click add link and then we're just going to save draft. We don't actually need to publish this page to show our example here. Then we're going to preview this. It's going to bring up the post or I, sh I should say the page that we created. And you'll see here this is a form and it's a linked piece of text. If we were to click on that, it's going to open up a new tab and take us right back to that form that we added. Now there's another way to do this you can simply add media right there and it'll take you again directly to your media library and you'll see this is the form that we added bold 7 7 2013 so we'll click on that and just by clicking on it once it's going to tell us the attachment details and give us options for different links for example we could link to a custom URL and when somebody clicks on that link we can make it go wherever we want we could take it to the attachment page, which is a page encapsulating that uh, particular link or document. But in this case, we're going to take it directly to the media file, that is the form itself. And we'll click insert into page. And you'll notice it's going to insert the link with the actual title of that form. So if you didn't want the title to show up, you would want to type different text either in the settings or when you're linking to this item. Again, we'll click save draft. And then we'll look at this page. We're going to refresh it so we could see that second link come up here. And if we were to click on this, it brings us directly again to this document that we see here. So several ways to add forms to a page. Uh, one is by adding a link here. The other is just by using the add media button. Now again, do not be confused with this add form button. This is a button that gets inserted on your posts and your page editors because Gravity Forms is installed. And we'll show you what that looks like. If you wanted to actually add a form, these are, this is a form that gets added because of Gravity Forms, the plugin. And you'll see that that looks much different. We'll refresh this page here. And you'll see that's an actual form. Now some of the text is blanked out because it's actually white in color, but this is actually a, a fillable form that you would fill out right here on the website. Now obviously that is different than this form. So you want to make sure that you're uploading your paper forms, your paper documents using the media library. And then when you want to make those documents appear in a page or a post, you link to that document as opposed to say adding a form. So if you have any questions, uh, you can look at the video, uh, this particular video description, it'll show you, it'll give you a link over to this particular post on our website. Uh, you could leave a comment either here in YouTube or you could leave a comment on our website and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks.